Welcome back everybody, I am RMF and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and use the Comico Save Editor made by the community's very own MonkeyMan192. So right here I have Comico uninstalled and this is just so anybody can jump in at any time for this video. Players of any skill level, whether you've never played the game or you are desperately searching for a more consistent way to practice different sections of the game rather than just playing through it again and again. And we're just opening a new game and populating our folder with a saved data file that the game will read and use later on. Now let's head on over to where you can actually download Monkey Man's save editor application, which the easiest way to get there is through the Kamiko speedrunning discord. If you don't already have a link or you aren't already in the discord, you can go to speedrun.com slash Kamiko and click on this discord icon and it'll add you to the group. Now that we're in the Discord server, we'll head over to the resources channel and scroll up a bit until we see MonkeyMan192's save editor application. Click on the GitHub link and it will take us to where we can download the save editor. Here we are, a save file, decompiler, and recompiler for Comico on PC. And one thing I will not be teaching you how to do in this video is downloading or installing Python. Python is required for this application to work. You'll just have to figure that out on your own. Now we're just gonna click on code and then click download zip from this drop down menu we just got. And just keep track of where you're putting the zip folder. It doesn't matter really where it goes, just so long as we know where it's at when the time comes. We're also gonna extract the contents of this zip folder. You can use whatever you like, WinZip, 7-Zip. I just use Windows File Explorer. Then let's open up a new File Explorer window and go to our This PC tab, or wherever your main drive is. Mine is the C drive. Then we'll go into Users, and then we'll need to click on whatever your user profile is that you're signed into or that you normally use. And now we have to click a box that some of you may not already have checked off, and that is View Hidden Items. This is going to allow us to see the folder App Data, which is where our save editor application is going to be placed, because that's where our save file lives. So now we'll continue on to Local Low, Fly High Works. And then the Kamiko folder should be there waiting for us. Since we started a new game earlier and activated a shrine checkpoint, we'll have a save data file here in this folder as well. This is what the game reads to load save files. Let's go ahead and put the save underscore loader dot pi application into the correct folder here. Did you remember where you kept it? Now it's time for everybody's favorite part, opening command prompt and using Python commands. These commands are the way that we access the application and use it to create JSONs for pre-existing save data files, or use JSONs to create new save data files that the Comico application will then load. We're gonna navigate to our folder where our save file lives and use the cd command on command prompt. And then we're gonna use our first command from the save editor, which is python space save underscore loader dot pi space hyphen l. And this is gonna take whatever our current written save data file is and convert it into a save data JSON file that you can see has populated right here. And our other command is python space save underscore loader dot pi space hyphen s space hyphen p space whatever your file name is dot json and that's going to take whatever data is on our json file and convert it into a save file that the game is then able to read finally let's do a small demonstration here we'll load back up Comico and play on to our next shrine checkpoint that will change our save data file that we have located in our Comico folder and now that we have a different shrine saved on our save data file we can hit enter on that hyphen s command that we pasted from earlier and as a result we can see that the save data file now has a backup file dot back next to it which is our old save data file and now if everything's gone according to plan we should be back at shrine number one when we load back into the game and there we are back at shrine number one even though shrine two was our last played shrine thanks a lot to monkey man 192 for making the software and letting the community use it to get a lot better at the game and practice as much as they need i hope all of you have an awesome rest of your day and thank you so much for watching peace